Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, art and all things creative. I'm Jacqueline and I'm an interior architect and designer here at DMB. In today's video, I'll be walking you through how to create a Hugo home. I'll give you my tips on how you can transform your home into a cozy snug, ready for the autumn and winter months. This video was actually requested by one of our lovely subscribers, so thank you for that. And guys, let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you also want to see. And that being said, let's jump into the video. Now I'm sure that you're all familiar with the term hygge, but you might not be quite sure what it actually means. Hygge is a Danish concept that encompasses having a feeling of coziness, contentment and well-being. Danish people and researchers have found that hygge moments have a lasting effect on our happiness and our health. It can be anything from enjoying a hot chocolate, reading a book, baking a cake, or playing a board game with family members, but it really is an individual thing. I like to think of it as anything that brings you a deep, soul-warming pleasure. I think that there is a huge misconception surrounding Hygge, and a lot of videos that I've watched on YouTube basically just say that all you need to be Hygge is a blanket, candles, and a warm drink. Which, yeah, while those things are definitely Hygge, there are other things too. Also, Hygge is more of a concept as opposed to relating to specific items. And like I said before, what is Hygge is really up to each individual person. So now that I've cleared up what the concept is, let's take a look at ways you can make your home interior more Hygge. Now, one word that sums up a Hygge space is the word Hygge this is essentially a warm and comfy inviting space where you can see yourself sitting for hours. Let's look at some examples. Mine is either my bed or my sofa, but it's just anywhere where you can block out the world and completely relax. I think it's great to have a nook that you can retreat to and, you know, read a book, watch a film, listen to music, whatever it is you do to feel cosy. Where would your hygge crawl be? Something else that instantly makes your home warm and inviting is by having different soft furnishings in your home. Think about what fabrics are comforting for you. For example, I love wool linen, faux fur, or cotton, and I honestly hate the feel of velvet, so obviously I wouldn't have that in my space. Also, a quick tip is that even though I love the look of leather chairs and sofas, they tend to stay quite cold, which really isn't ideal for the colder months. Of course, if you live in a warmer country, then by all means stick with the leather, but here in the UK, in particular in the winter months, it's freezing. So it just helps to have that extra bit of warmth from the fabric. Start to think about what materials bring you comfort and which ones you would like in your home. You know, think about what kinds of cushions you'd like, bedding, sofa fabric, or even, you know, curtain materials that you think would feel more cozy. Also, I think that anyone would agree that having a thick blanket around is always a good idea. Another great material that instantly adds warmth to your space is wood. Now, you don't need to transform your whole house into a Norwegian cabin, but it definitely helps having wood accents in your space. Look at these kitchens, for example. The use of the tiling in the first image and the use of the wooden laminate in the second. You can see that although the grey tiles are very contemporary and chic, the wooden floor has instantly added more warmth to the whole environment. Wood is a great material to use because it adds warm colouring to your space as well as some texture. I always suggest things like wooden coffee tables, chairs, photo frames, or if you don't want anything big, just some wooden decor. Now let's talk Hygge colour schemes. 
Personally, I think that neutral tones will always work and stick with warmer tones like beige, caramel, white and browns, as opposed to colder tones like greys and blues. Although that is just my personal style for my home. And if I'm being honest, any colour will work for your home. You know, if you love bright fuchsias and that's who good to you, then I'm not going to stop you. But just to help you guys a bit more, here are some colour schemes that I think will work well in different spaces. Something that instantly adds some zen and balance to a space is by including plants. I've already spoken about this in this video, but essentially they're fantastic for making you less stressed, boosting your concentration and also eliminating harmful toxins. And I think that for this reason, real plants are always going to be better than artificial plants. And some that I really recommend are the fiddle leaf fig, the snake plant, succulents, the swiss cheese plant, the Chinese money plant and the Japanese palm. And if you're like me and you completely forget to water your plants every week, then just keep an alarm on your phone. Thankfully, since doing that, no plants have died yet. But I really do think that by having plants in your space, it adds an element of purity and peace to your interior. Which leads me on to my next point, which is to create a calming and spa-like bathroom. Something that is too good to me is to wind down after a long, tiring work day or at the weekend in a nice, warming bubble bath. And I'm sure you guys can relate. One way to create a more spa-like feel is to have candles, mood lighting as opposed to a harsh white light, raw materials like stones and pebbles. A mixture of materials like stone and wood is always a great combination. And if you're feeling really extra, have a surround system built into your bathroom. I briefly mentioned candles and I think that this is universal to instantly make your space feel warm. For me, candles remind me of the magic of Christmas, which is actually the most hygge time to me, which is why I love to put candles all around the house. And if you do, make sure they're not toxic and I recommend using soy candles. Or you could use fake LED candles, which create exactly the same effect, but obviously they don't let off any sweet aromas. And one of the most warming ways to create a cozy home interior is of course to have a fireplace. Now personally, I don't have a fireplace. I wish I did, but the different types you can get are a gas fireplace, an electric fireplace, or the classic solid fuel. The solid fuel options are obviously more appealing as they create the crackling sounds. And let's be honest, it's quite fun to put a fire together. But you, then you do have the smell of burning wood, which I actually find quite unpleasant. But nonetheless, fireplaces create the most hygge atmosphere and are actually practical, most importantly, for the autumn and winter months. I thought that it would be a good idea to also give you guys some specific pieces of furniture that I think would create a hygge environment in your home. Armchairs are a great way to create a small hygge crawl without taking up a lot of room as well as a comfy fabric sofa, a shaggy rug, wooden dining and coffee tables, a bed with a fabric headboard, textured or wooden cabinets to add character, and shelving where you can place some hygge decor. And one part that I think fits hand in hand with furniture is of course decor. The small details that you add to a space will actually enhance the whole feel and look of your home. Some that I think that always work are obviously an abundance of candles and quirky candle holders, warm lighting, vases with plants, artwork, metallic elements to make the warm lights reflect and glow, baskets, warming cushions, fun ornaments, and a large mirror. Remember to buy things that really do make you excited when you see them, rather than buying something just because it looks good. Because Hugo is all about creating a cosy, comforting feeling, rather than being a style itself. And if you're watching this video now in autumn, then remember before you buy to think about how the decoration and furniture will transition into spring. For example, a photo of a hot chocolate may look really good now, but it might look out of place in the summer and spring. I think that I really developed my understanding of Hugo when I read this book which is The Little Book of Hygge by Mike Viking, who is the founder of the Happiness Institute in Copenhagen. 
It's really interesting because it's literally his job to find out what countries are the happiest and most importantly why that country has the happiest population. Danish people are regarded as one of the happiest groups of people in the world which Mike goes into in the book. And that's for a number of different factors which are social, economic and cultural but one of those factors is because of Huga. I would really recommend this book if you want a clearer understanding on the topic and it really has helped me to live a Huga lifestyle. To me, a huga is a form of self-care and creating huga moments is so important for our well-being. Also, in the description, I'll be leaving you guys some YouTube channels and videos that have really helped me understand huga better and that I think you'll also love. I am a huge huga lover and I post lots of huga content on my Instagram, so feel free to follow me on there for more cosy vibes. There are, of course, other ways to find inspiration and one way being, of course, is Pinterest home of all things inspiration. Just go on there and type in Huga Home or Huga Interior and you'll be scrolling endlessly. Also, I really recommend looking up these hashtags on Instagram as I found that they've been really helpful for some inspiration. If you're new then welcome, this channel is all about interior design, architecture, illustration, content creation and graphics, so if any of that interests you, make sure to subscribe to see videos just like this one. And if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up because by doing that you really do help our channel. Let me know in the comments which Huga tip was your favourite and also let me know which things are Huga League to you. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!